Ken. Uh, good afternoon, everyone, and I am so glad you are here today after lunch. This presentation hopefully will be easy on the eyes, but I will give you our latest updates, a snapshot of what LA Metro is doing to roll out the transit capital program at LA Metro and other initiatives and programs as well. So, for folks that are visiting Los Angeles, not familiar, uh, Los Angeles County uh, is composed of 88 cities in an unincorporated uh, Los Angeles County. Uh, our service area, or LA County, is actually over 4,000 square miles. Uh, LA Metro is the third largest trans transit system in the country. We are st statistically tied with New Jersey Transit um, being both in the number three slots. Uh, and so we serve um, currently, Los Angeles County has 10 million people, largest county, and it keeps growing. I think we're getting a, a population back from what I'm, uh, the recent uh, reports. Uh, so we have uh, the most ambitious uh, program for transit expansion in America. Uh, we do have a local option sales tax, which is Measure M, uh, approved to undertake the largest transportation program expansion. It was actually in the Western Hemisphere. Uh, so Measure M was uh, voter approved in 2016 and um, expansion in this new program, uh, which is the local, uh, local financial commitment for LA Metro uh, for expansion in this program from 2016 onwards. And LA Metro has uh, an authority, we're a state chartered authority of Los Angeles County to plan, design, build, finance, maintain, operate the system. Uh, on the transit side of LA Metro, uh, we operate urban bus and rail service. Uh, the service area is 1,447 square miles, uh, 109 route miles of Metro Rail service and uh, growing. Uh, we have here uh, light rail. So the Metro Rail system is a light rail and heavy rail transit with now with uh, 108 stations. Uh, the ridership is now surpassing uh, post-COVID 82% uh, of the pre-pandemic levels as of December of last year and that uh, ridership is uh, growing. Uh, okay. So, so looking at uh, from 2022 to 2028 in the implementation and opening of uh, new capital projects, uh, five light rail transit projects are expected in this time. Uh, three heavy rail transit extensions are currently under construction. Uh, I believe we had just finished all of the tunneling for uh, the three projects uh, that are under construction. We also have one intermodal passenger facility near LAX that will open uh, this year. So, uh, whoops, a little bit ahead. Sorry about that. Okay, so, uh, so in 2022, uh, we opened Metro K Line from the Crenshaw area uh, down to uh, Westchester. Uh, in 2023, uh, the Metro Regional Connector opened uh, primarily in downtown Los Angeles to connect uh, multiple light rail lines together. Uh, in 2024, this year, you've heard about the Metro Connector project. The, the facility project name um, at the Revenue Service Day in 2024 will be the LAX Metro Transit Center. In 2025, the Foothill A line extension to Pomona will open, and between 2025 and 2027, the Metro D Purple Line extension, uh, those are the opening dates for that line. 
Uh, so Metro K line was opened in 2022. Uh, these are the images of the line, the stations, uh, the alignment and so forth. Uh, really, it's uh, 8.5 miles with uh, eight new stations, uh, light rail transit operating at grade, underground and overground. Uh, very interesting operating plan for that line. Uh, initial segment had opened in October 2022. Uh, Metro K line. Um, so this is sort of an image from the operator's cab. Operations in three modes, street running with transit signal priority, uh, cab signal operations, and also automatic train operations as well. All three in one uh, 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 cab uh, in each vehicle. Uh, so six months later, in 2023, the Metro Regional Connector had opened. It combines three existing light rail lines into two lines in downtown Los Angeles. Uh, it's uh, 1.9 miles with three new stations. It actually provides a one-seat drive for customers through Los Angeles County. It provides another rail connection uh, within downtown Los Angeles, so um, uh, more convenience for, for customers, and it opened uh, June of last year. So that's how it looks like in the, uh, the project map. Uh, go see, uh, if you're on the new uh, regional connector, which is the A and E lines, go see some of the art that is uh, well integrated with these new stations. Uh, on that new uh, segment. Uh, so integrated mobility solutions at LAX. So this is a whole program of projects that, that are happening at LAX right now. Uh, the Los Angeles World Airports is, uh, they are implementing uh, these uh, intermodal transfer facilities, uh, ITF East, ITF West, uh, for the things that they're doing. Uh, also a Conrack consolidated rental car facility um, within this plan here. Uh, so that's, uh, um, they're also uh, under construction with the LAX people mover. All of that will actually come into a hub, which is what Metro is under construction right now the Los Angeles, uh, the LAX Metro Transit Center. Uh, we also uh, had opened in 2018 this Metro Maintenance Facility and that is Southwestern Yard Division 16. Uh, oops. LAX Metro, Metro Transit Center looks something like that in the rendering. Uh, so you will see uh, the Metro K line will go to that station. Uh, also, the, the, your uh, public bus uh, uh, connections will be uh, at a transit center on the ground floor. Uh, and also, the LX People Mover will uh, go to that hub uh, on an upper level. Um, opening will be uh, late this year. Uh, next. So Foothill A-Line extension to Pomona. So this is a nine mile extension of the existing A-Line service that currently goes to uh, Azusa uh, AP Citrus uh, College station. Yeah, so it'll go further east, the opening uh, is in 2025. And it'll extend Metro's uh, A-Line service, which is currently one of the largest light rail lines in the world right now operating. So stay tuned for that. Um, so Metro D line is the Purple Line West Side extension you might have heard of. It's under construction right now. There are seven new stations all under construction. Eight, it's an eight mile extension of the current heavy rail transit service from central Los Angeles to West Side cities. Expected opening between 2025 and 2027. And 
That's how it looks like with three different segments that are under construction right now. Uh, the first two from Welsh Western Station, the existing station there, to La Cienega. The second uh, segment goes from La Cienega Station in Beverly Hills to uh, Central City. And then the third uh, final segment goes to, uh, from Central City to Westwood and the Veterans Administration uh, uh, area and station there as well. Um, these are some of the renderings for uh, the new stations along the extension. Uh, and so beyond 2028, uh, what does Metro have in store beyond 2028? beyond the current uh, capital projects that are under construction and rail openings uh, uh, with uh, 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 service improvements and expansion. Uh, so current status, uh, at least four transit corridors are currently in the engineering phase. Uh, four corridors included in Metro's Measure M uh, program as major, major capital projects, uh, currently in project development. Uh, five capital program categories, of which major transit capital represents within Metro 78% of all of the program management activities for LA Metro. Uh, and so uh, fiscal constraint, affordability, financial capacity are key topics, uh, ongoing topics in this space. Uh, and so uh, the current status here also is uh, facilities engineering maintenance and asset management now have a greater role uh, in maintaining the transit system with the expansion program that we have, uh, especially to maintain the system under state of good repair. Um, staff shortages, work from home, safety and security, the change in demographics, uh, equity are key topics to address uh, the transit comeback in a large metropolitan area, and not only with LA Metro, but other systems as well. Uh, bus network restructuring uh, plays a significant role to accommodate today's travel markets, uh, whether it's the, the bus feeder to Metro Rail or vice versa. Uh, so, well, the look ahead beyond 2028, so um, actions to deliver a great customer experience, hopefully, uh, for a world-class system. So highlights that we have here are Metro's mobility concept plan that you probably heard this morning from my illustrious colleagues at Metro. Uh, the mobility concept plan is um, targeted for the 2028 Olympics and beyond. Uh, so there's, there's uh, a lot of uh, initiatives that are um, and uh, funded um, uh, projects that are coming out of that plan. Uh, also, um, rail network integration. So rail network integration is very interesting. It is um, LA Metro's first systems planning study, not a quarter study. It's a systems planning study to support um, the existing network, the expansion, but it also supports efforts um, uh, within the uh, state rail plan and also with our colleagues at California High Speed Rail as well. So um, out of our current rail network integration study, we're looking to have, uh, we're proposing some station area improvements along four uh, stations their existing stations, uh, mostly on the Los Angeles Corridor, um, and uh, one other station along the Sea Line in Norwalk. Uh, also, what we're hoping uh, that we're working on is a concept 
that needs to be programmed into some plan, this concept will deliver, we hope, it will um, connect two existing commuter rail lines in the Los Angeles County area and Orange County to make one um, the Southern California's first S-Bahn uh, regional line. So if that happens, uh, we're hoping it will happen. Um, this will um, hopefully expand the urban core in the Los Angeles area, not just from Union Station, but an expanded urban core with um, uh, better service uh, from Burbank to Norwalk along the Los Angeles Quarter. So that is uh, our uh, S-Bahn concept uh, that's coming out of the rail network integration study. Very interesting. Um, we're also looking at greater land use. Um, uh, studies of Metro has a, um, a mandate to over. deliver more housing as joint development uh, on Metro rights away. Um, and also we're looking to expand multimodal integration. Okay, so that's part of the future for LA Metro. And thank you so much for your time. I will be available for questions uh, afterwards. Thank you.